In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a T flip flop oscillator clock circuit that runs over time. So yes, basically we're basically going to mix it between using our T flip flops and our clock circuits. So basically, if you don't know what they are, basically they have to do with a bunch of oscillators. And basically using the equation, you can understand how using the between the Schrodinger equation and using perturbation to understand the formula correctly. Like for example, I'm going to grab some obsidian and an end crystal. For example, I see a mountain right here. I want to blow this mountain up so I can have enough room. So what I do is I dig, I dig some out. I dig like a few mounds out. Then what I do is I can like create my own enterprise by putting an obsidian right there with an end crystal. See? Now if you look closely, this has like a, a lot of like... Greek symbols, basically which is representing like like a ritual to do. So it's like a blow up TNT thing. But if I hit it, <sighs> kind of blow up a little bit of our mound, which the obsidian is indestructible. But yeah, like that for example. Before, so anyways, before we get into the video, I want to show you a little quick little thing I got here. Today we have is Vault Boy. This is the Gold Edition. Try to see, get, try to get one of these below. I'll be giving, I'll try to find like maybe get like a few of these so I can do a giveaway. So, we gotta do was to like, subscribe, comment, and post notifications daily. First, when in the comments receive one of these, I'll try to get as much as I can before the end, maybe of like March. So, put your name in this there today, and I'll give you one of these. All right, but not being said, let's get into the video. So, before we show you how to make an oscillator, we want to show you how to how to do basic clock circuits. So, I'm going to put the camera down. I had to delete everything in my, in my inventory so I won't get messed up. So, grab your, basically to make this, grab any block you'll use. So, maybe blue concrete. <laughs> grab yourself, maybe, oh yeah, you need redstone repeaters. Redstone, redstone torch, redstone block, observers, sticky piston. Sorry about that. Power rails. Sorry about that, guys. And maybe a lever. Okay. The basic, the basic uh, cl clock circuit is like this right here. This is a block with a repeater. Oops, oops. With a repeater going that way. <laughs> My apologies. So with, with, a rest, with a rest of a repeater like this. And then <laughs> with redstone coming from that block. There you go. A smile like so. I think that's how you do it. Uh, and maybe a redstone torch. So a redstone torch on that on the one space side of that block. So right here, and then all you do is just you create your clock circuit. <laughs> Try to see how I could build this. Uh... There we go, like this. So you saw that right there, right? So I'll try that again. See? That's like a little clock circuit, and it goes on for a little second. Unless you add redstone on here. It's going to like a little time. Unless you add redstone right here, it'll basically work like this. You saw it, right? I'll show you again. So full with a smack in the ass, like so. So, like that. <laughs> so, basically, it's from Elmag starts on that rest of repeater. Look, look, look. But instead of deleting it, I'll use a lever. <laughs> so. You basically know what a clock circuit is and how it works. 
and you'll hear burn out. So, little easy concept that you can create your own imagination with this story lamp. So yeah, and there also another cool thing is with if can affect redstone, maybe redstone block, other way around. Uh, blue concrete with the redstone block, then with the repeater this way, along with redstone on two sides with two torches. Zero, 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 zero. zero. And turns on this for ticks, and then for the cool part is that we can add a piston. <laughs> so, like this, for example. So, no tick in observation yet. <laughs> we can add our redstone repeater on your side. So you want to have something like this right here that could actually create like a little observer ticking moment. By laying those two torches, you'll get everything correct. So when you have these like redstone, we have redstone on. If you want to switch it, then you go ahead. But it doesn't do nothing. It just sits there. So. Because of the redstone block. Alright, so we just show you a little two examples right now. Now it's basically time to get into action. So, what you do is you're gonna plop an observer, two observers, oh, away from each other. So, like one, two, three, four, like so. For this redstone block. <laughs> And you'll hear this, and you'll see this dot blink. Because that means it's it's offset. So, to make like a little clock circuit, place a torch on, on the redstone block and the observer with redstone. Yeah, sure. Then, delete that. And then... Oops. Oops. Keep the lean stuff. So, with redstone coming out of those two. Yeah, sure. And then redstone facing this way. Actually, redstone, redstone, redstone line. Where's that below? Below. On those. Hello. And then connect, make like a line this way. Let's go now. And then with this right here, and what the power rolls are for, the power rolls are gonna be like a little, like a little ob observation, observation, like a little method skill, like it controls the oscillating moments. So when you when you basically have like a like a railing, like a power rail activated, you can always you can't deactivate it because of the redstone torch. You have to delete that redstone torch so that you can get it. But anyways, moving on. Two repeaters on the sides. And make sure they're, they're at one tick. And then we can connect those. Connect those two. Yeah, sure. Actually, set those to four ticks, actually. Alright. Then, once you have that, you're going to place a torch right here. And they should light up. So, anyway, so grab like a grab like a mine card. Let's see what 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 we'll, we'll not be using. Probably we're not gonna be using the lever. So, get like a basic mine card, and then just place that, and just place a right here. But then you want to use like a redstone torch to or like something to like get that moving. Okay, he likes it high. So to 
what but what makes this project like featureable it's like that for example so like let this so if i grab this it basically has like a, a conjunction there's like no hidden concept so another, another cool way to design this is that you can place these facing this way but this one here you see it's burnt out so because basically it has a mass frequency the frequency is block of redstone or redstone torch or repeaters and the activation is that also you can use observers as well you can use observers if you want but you have to place a redstone torch behind them or to activate those mm -hmm. see what your problems like so so for this i just I just use basic, I'll just use a basic redstone block. <laughs> As you can see clearly that this whole key concept is when you add two of these together and you get what you get. So kind of like a tricky oscillator problem. But anyways, next thing I want to do is maybe for example, I can just show you how a piston, a sticky piston can do it. So we can do like a uh, but plop like a sticky piston that will like pop like two down with power rails on it. For Alexa, then we can connect it down to like right here, and then like down here as well. So I want to make like a basic roller coaster, for example. So I place my minecart there, and the cool part is that the whole part is watch this. So both of these pistons come up, as you can see. I'll place blue concrete here so that it won't go nowhere. But then I'll have to grab some buttons to place it on. So, it's kind of like the what video I did on how you could get your Minecraft card stations like that, for example. Like, how, like the, your basic designs to keep it, like, going off forever. So, that's kind of like the, the concept, for example. Oh, let's see what I can get rid of. I can get rid of the... Oh, get rid of the pistons. Oh, what are for? So, I'll place that right there, and then the cool part is I watch this. Not sure, but um, but um, basically, it's not powered on yet. But so I power it on and it does that, so it comes back to me and it's stuck on the top. Well, how can we differ from this? Well, if I go ahead and take a redstone block and place it on that side right there. It's gonna last forever. So I just give it, just give it a big push like this right here. See, like this for example. You have something like this right here, and the power rails can go last, last forever. Or maybe something like similar with the sticky pistons I want to show you is how. But basically, this is not related to a clock circuit. But I can create like a power rail design, then I can match it up with the end of like one of these like little. With the blue concrete, maybe I can add like another one there, so I can, I can add like a button on the one we just put on, and like basically the key part is that you can actually create a design that has an own familiarity. So like this, if I press it right here, it doesn't do nothing. But I'm gonna delete this one. See, it puts these pistons back. Because if you look, it took out my one of the it took it took out one of these right here. See? See how it took out of this? <laughs> so in own familiarity, you can actually create something like this. One sec, guys. Oh, 
Okay, so. So there we go. So the pistons are for just like for like ag advocate to like other standards. All right. The next thing I do is I can just push this further. Yeah, sure. Let's see. See, when I push that, the piston is basically is basically having a little stickiness. See, it just goes back because it's sticky. Now another cool thing for design is that the buttons are for like basic simple. It doesn't do nothing. But what else we okay. So but anyways, have an observer. If we create like a railway observation circuit, like a place to two of these down here. Go to two, two observers along with the rail power rails. I count ordinary clock circuits. So with the buttons with basically the buttons being back here, with reds with redstone torches behind, it's, it's gonna give off, gonna give off that leaping symbol. Place them on the top. You get the idea. I can place place the key parts. I can place buttons everywhere I want. But the main part is they want they must go out. And for over here, I could place two buttons at the same time. And then there, like like like. Here. But then I have to place a repeater on the sides that I made on the side on each side of the observer. So I'm gonna test something real quick. Oops. So make sure that I have these repeaters. Make sure they're set to one tick, and then with red one redstone. And one redstone block. And then the other one as well. One redstone block. One redstone. Redstone block. And then I can create like have like a little circuiting circuit mechanism. And you know what? This is not that bad. But I can, I'm gonna delete those two redstone torches. I can add my observation with the with the trust of redstone. And then I can create a little bit of this right here. With two of the Sorry about that. With two with two of these right here. With two red with two mine cards and then we'll do So what I did was like there, these rest the rest on torches burn out, but they bleeped. Mm -hmm. That that's basically a cool way to, to do it, but with the redstone, I could just create the observation by doing this. So I have redstone on this on the other side, are connected towards the redstone repeater. With a little help, with, with a little help from my friend. But button here, I can with a little help with my redstone torch right here. I can add that. Plus, the repeaters will be facing. Oops, oops, they're gonna be facing towards the redstone block. That turns on. Then the other, the other one, I can just put one. I can just put on the side. And on the other side. Then, I'm gonna make a line of redstone. Make sure to line up. And then a little help with the power rails. <laughs> I might not have to connect them. And then lastly, we'll just add. I could just add the little red, little blue concrete, and I can add like a little. Redstone torch being burned out for <laughs> and then give it a push and it goes through. That's okay. If I add a button, it's not gonna do nothing. See? Not gonna do nothing. 
because I don't have the Geek Cuisina. So basically, you can actually create something with the observers, but the observers don't do nothing but just sit there and observe like every any malfunction you want. And also, I've been kind of messing with this right here. So I've been messing with this a little bit here. I have this right here. I can I act literally I just built this right here. This involves using blue concrete, sticky pistons, observers, redstone, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, and levers. So what I did was that I just created the same thing as well. Like I had to create like I created basically four of these like blue concretes along with the sticky piston and add a little bit of redstone circuiting. And what I did was I had levers here. And the fun part is I did this right here. Sorry about that. So I did something that created a little, little testimony. And it did something. It, it like bleeped. It like bleeped something. It like it says something about bleeping. It like bleeped. Forget what, what I. But it, it was like bleeping. <laughs> what I did. But no, I did like a clock circuit. I will add right here. I think I have to. There we go. So, I had to do this right here. Like this right here. So, I had to fix, refix that torch right there. But let me, I'm going to show you it again. That was a piano. That was a piano like so. I have to replace the redstone torches. You hear it? I made a little clock. So, I made like a little clock right here. It's like, it's like a, I made like a little hungry hungry hippo thing. See? It's like a hungry hungry hippo type. So I test with this right here and it kinda looks it looks really cool. So it's basically like hungry hungry hippos, for example. You can actually observe like like you can like observe with this and you can like build it. So it's like a little little design right here. Okay. So basically I actually want you to guys I actually want to basically want to build this right here. Any type of clock circuit you can actually build has to do with a spinning circle, not as a, a rotary. So basically, what a rotary does, well, it has something. So I'm going to leave everything that's in my inventory, and I want you to grab these following items. Grab yourself some redstone, redstone torches, repeaters, railing, re original railing. <laughs> Detector rails, power rails. Uh, we'll grab ourselves some. We'll grab ourselves mine carts. <laughs> then also, you're gonna need some buttons. Any type of buttons you want to use, I already I just use stone buttons, and in a, and in a specific block of your choice. Like, don't use concrete powder. Unless you have a mod, you could do that. But I'm gonna use original blue concrete. So once you have all those items, I can go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead now and blah, plop this down. I'm gonna create a little circuit. So I can create. I'm gonna place down my first block here with with another block on top. And I'm gonna skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this one here. Put that now right here. Delete those. And the reason why I put that there is just to uh, give like spacing. So the next thing, okay, the next thing I want to do is for the next one. I'm sorry to do this. I'm sorry, Mr. Cow. Next thing I want to do, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five. It's five spaces. Place the other one here, like so. Oh, that's so uh, I actually want to. Actually, no, 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 I count it wrong. So make that line, like, like make that line again. And then look for the middle. 
and then do one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, ten, and then put like place another block there. With that be with that being deleted, and then the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How is it one? I want to make sure this one's the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, seven. So, and now on that seventh block, place another block. You can now go ahead and delete the, the your outline. It's because you, we don't need it. Okay. So it kind of looks like a diamond. I made like a little like a little diamond here. Oh, so kind of get the idea. Okay, for this little trick right here, I want I call this the I call this one the I call this the Austrian os the I call this the Austrian oscillator move. And being Aus Austrian, I'm referring it to Erwin Schrodinger. Sorry about that. So I call this the Austrian oscillator move is because that I'm referring it to er the Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger. And what he did was he calculated of basically making stuff that will light and last forever. So what I do is I, I basically go place a couple of, of these power rails until I reach the center. So I want to make sure they match up together. So I want to make sure they, they, they reach the center. <gasps> you do. Okay, and then the other one move. <laughs> okay. Then I place I place the detector rail there for a minute, for like for there for now. It's cool. Next thing, I want to do something. Want I want to see if this can react to. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Okay, so I did that there, as you saw. So also, so so this is okay, Alexa, but I prefer I prefer using redstone torches or levers or a redstone block. On top, so I, I don't know anything on the top there. All right, now I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create a little something right here. So the how the Austrian move is that I create like a little, create like myself like a little diagonal. Let's go like one more time. So I'm gonna take my blocks now and. And then this is the cool part. I'll show you in a second. I want to make sure I keep everything inside of the, of this, of the like the, the whole like the whole uh, project so that it doesn't get destroyed or malfunction. So I created this right here. It looks kind of looks like a pentagram, but it's not. It's a diamond. The shape of a diamond, like a kite, for example. All right, then I want to add like a, a, a field of study. I want to add like a add like a button on on every one of these. So I want to add like a button on both sides on every four sides of the two blocks we made. So, oh shit! You want carry? You want carry? The hell's wrong with you? You want carry? The hell's wrong with you? You want carry? The hell's wrong with you? And I did this right here. I did like a little move right here. I placed a minecart right there because I want to show you that for example. So I'm not done with it yet. The next thing I want to do is that I want to. The next thing I want to do is that I want to take out my my actual rails. It's do you want to carry it? Get out of here, the hell's wrong with you? And I want to make four corners of this. <laughs> but the main part is I want to add the two power rails I made right here. So you want to make like one of those on, on every side. So 
Alex, I'm sorry. Don't get like a circle. So, and in place, and then, Materials. So, create like a little physics right here. Oops. So, I made a mistake right there. All right. Lex, I'm sorry. Okay. Then, so for for every one of these, I added the power rails. Alexa, what time is it? It's one carrot. It's two. It's two. One carrot. Hell's wrong with you? One carrot. Hell's wrong with you, Alexa? <laughs> Sorry about that. So I added these right here. They they, they resemble the Ohio State O, for example. <laughs> now then, I want to make sure every repeater. I work for every repeater right here. So I place it I place it on the diamond. So but they have to be in a specific way. It's like a pattern. So for this one right here, we know this one here should be four. This is one. This is three. And this is two. Repeat the pattern again. Four. And then this one right here is one. Then this right here is three and then two. Four. One, three, and two. Then for the other one, four, one, three, two, four, oh, one, three, two, four. One, three, two. So, I, I, so basically, you want to have to look at this right here. All right. <laughs> so, if you're lucky enough, you can actually place redstone. But l let me try something real quick. I've run not redstone. Redstone is base. It's gonna take forever to like power it on, but those are for to like keep everything on and activated. So now, luckily, I mean, I figured this looks like a cool looking design, but but the next thing I want to do is that you want to do the same thing, but placing them by placing them on the ground. So four, one, three. Two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, so and so on. Four, one, three, and two. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I screwed up. Wait, wait. So, I actually screwed up a little bit. So, four, one, three, and this one's two. The other one, four, one, and then three, and then two, two, four, one, three, two. So, I did this right here. Do the same thing, like in the pattern again. But you have to place them on the ground. <laughs> then, click, click. Then, if everything goes wrong, everything goes, everything goes right. And basically, you can place your. Uh, let me try a redstone torch. <laughs> well, technically, not a redstone torch. But if you go under it. That doesn't do nothing. <laughs> It doesn't do nothing. It just it just doesn't do nothing. I'm not sure like what I did wrong, but 
I can tell you that this, this will work really, really great. But, alright. Okay, next thing. Like, I can't place no torch. That won't work. Sure. Maybe a... But the next thing I want to do is I want to place maybe, like, some power rails on every one of them. Like, like, no, not on every one of them. Like, like, uh... Hmm. So you want to do the same thing as well. So like one, two, three, and four. Four. So it's one. I want three. And the other one's two. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna do this a little bit. I'm gonna talk for a little bit. So yeah. I haven't got like the reality of, of building this. So like I'm just like trying to show you this for example. And like, like the reason why I have the camera down is because I have to like use my controller. So that kind of sucks for. I wish I got like a, a phone tripod that can like work. So, yeah. So I want to tell you like a little bit something else. Like, it's really hard to solve a Rubik's cube. You gotta get all, all, all the colors. To fit, you gotta get all the colors, like like all the whole category, like blue, orange, and it, yeah, because you gotta have all the focus co connection. So, solving Rubik's cube is a little tricky. Bigger than like like solving with Mr. Albert Einstein. So it's kind of a reactant, but uh, that's okay. Okay. So I did so what I did this right here. So I basically add all the power rails right here. Then I do the same. And then I just add different categorical blocks. So that basically these mod carts won't go anywhere. Uh and it's okay if your blocks are are basically together. Wait a second. How is that? One, two, three. This that is one, two. It's more like something. If you're like so if your blocks are like together, that's okay. I mean the main part it's just it's like a it's a cool little project you could do. So uh <laughs> was a shut up. No, no. Sorry about that guys. Oh, I'm behind. I'm, behind, I'm right. There. I'm stuck by a tree. But what I'm doing is I'm just I'm playing the blocks because I'm about to see it's something looks. I'm just testing this out, for example. So I have this right here. Then, unfortunately, I want to power. I want to power it on. So, Alex, you shut up. There's one block there. Wait, wait. So, yeah. Shoo, 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 shoo. So, I'm just trying my best here to like place the rest on torches down. So, if you want to have like, a, if you want to like have like an own creation, if you like want to believe in your like your own creation, go for it. But for right now, I'm trying to test out every testimony in like every other survival states. So I have tried to place as much torches as I can, but basically it turns out that I actually created a screw it up. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do nothing but just sit there. All right. For my last little trick, I decided to add the the little rails, and as I did that, I placed it right here. So do the same thing as well. And you can have something to look like this right here. So the detector rail makes makes it goes this way. So if you look closely, this right here goes straight and it turned that way. Let's try one more. And then we'll try one try like one of these right here. 
I'll have to find someone to power it on. Oh, I gotta fix something. All right. <laughs> so I create like a little oscillator physics right here. This is, this is what I call the Austrian oscillator move. <laughs> Give it a little push. And we'll do the same thing on our sides, and then. And then one more. And then one more. Oops. Well, hey! I gotta fix that one rail. And then. And then just do that. So there. And then basically, yeah, so I basically create like a little oscillator physics right here. Then you can do the same thing as well if you want. But let me try something real quick. See, so it kind of moves back, so you get the point. But anyways, that's how you make, that's how you use the oscill oscillator physics to create a clock circuit of minecarts. But anyways, this wraps up for this video. If you want to see more, hit the link down below. Go check out my boys Ice Nice channel, Instrumental Headquarters. Check out all my all my other minecart tutorials you want. And don't forget to check out that one uh uh video I, I uploaded last night. Basically I uploaded the one where I reviewed the Office Loop the Office Loop Crate of 2020. Where I got these this bobblehead and the squishy mug. And yeah. And also don't forget to don't forget to comment down below, like and subscribe, and post notifications, and turn on notifications, and basically comment, and then you'll see one of these. So yeah, and as warners, thumbs up for safety. Like a hell cut.